Hello guys, how's it going? It's been a while since I've been up here. Been trotting all around the country, up to Norfolk and down to Dartmoor. Hope you enjoyed both of them videos, the canoe trip and the uh, hiking on Dartmoor. I certainly did, especially the canoe trip. Met some great people. It's been a good month. Got some nettle tea on here. First time I've ever tried it, to be honest. But the real reason I'm out today is to uh, cook up some squirrel. It's a grey squirrel, wild caught, not by myself. Uh, it's an invasive species here, just so you're aware. It's a, an American species, the grey squirrel. It's taken over from the red squirrel in the majority of the UK, to be honest. You didn't really get a red squirrel up north of Scotland. So yeah, first time I'm going to be trying squirrel. I thought, what better way to christen the squirrel cooker? Well, here's the little guy, all jointed and ready. And I'm just gonna use some honey. I've read that it's quite good to use some honey or maple syrup on squirrel, improves the flavor. I've got a few spices here as well. So I'm just gonna coat him. Just rub that in. Flip him over. And just do the same for the other side here. He's got a few little hairs on him, but I'm sure they'll burn off over the fire. Before you say yes, I should have done this beforehand, but then I wouldn't be able to put it in the video. Most of the meat on this is going to be in the uh, the back legs and along here with the uh, loins. Got a bit of salt, some pepper, some garlic powder here, and just a little bit of chilli.
just going to rub that in a little bit and do the same to the other side. Now I'm not quite sure how you would normally do this with one of these. I don't even know if the um, split prong one like this would even really work for a squirrel. But what I might do is stick it up through the rib cage there. And then put some green wood across here to keep it in place. Alright, well this is the little fellow with the green wood on now. So that should hang okay and not flop around. So I'm going to stick it on the fire. Well, I've been waiting for my lunch to cook. I thought I'd uh, make use of the time and do a new mallet or baton, whatever you want to call it. A bit bigger than the old one, which as you can see, did need replacing. It's one of my most used uh, tools in camp, but um, I've kind of neglected it. Very hard piece of ash, this. Although just on the surface, some um, woodworms got to it, but it's only just under the bark there. So I've taken most of the bark off. But yeah, it's nearly there. I've just stopped because I'm uh, about to get lunch off. It works. I've got my bed of rice ready. Put that on towards the end there. And here we have the main event. I can get it off of this uh, spit thing. There we go. Took about half hour, just over half hour in the end. And as far as I'm aware, it is done and ready. Oh, losing my rice. Well, here we go, got it off with the uh, bushcraft knife, looks pretty well done to me. Mmm, that's not bad, can definitely taste the sweetness of the honey. And then a little bit of the heat from the chilli comes through as well. Mmm, I like it. I think the best way to go about this is just to joint it up and eat it off the bone. quite a subtle flavour, just takes on the flavours of uh, what you put on it. I read that it's like a, a more subtle version of rabbit. It's even taken on a lot of the uh, smoke flavour as well, that's why it's come out quite a, a red tinge 
you can see that in the meat as well, kind of like a smoke ring. Well, thanks very much for watching as usual. Hope you've enjoyed that. I certainly enjoyed the squirrel. I've got another two at home, so I plan on doing a stew as well. Probably not on video, just for my own pleasure. But yeah, uh, fancied staying a bit more local for today, for this week. Um, I've got another couple of trips planned for the summer. Um, one of them I'm hoping to do in a week's time, so you should be seeing that very soon. I'm quite excited for that one. That's gonna be with Tom from Tom Outdoors as well. Um, yes, thanks very much for watching as usual and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.